All right, I'm trying to beat the rain here. It's been raining on and off all day. This is probably the first um, break of any kind of blue skies at all because that's on its way all behind me here. It's just gray, gray, gray. Um, I'm gonna try and see here. Uh, get a shot. I know the focus is probably off, but uh, I'm gonna try and set the shot up here so that um, you can see but this is the section of the new uh, Ben M. Lee uh, slipper clutch here this little section is the part that you want tight and you just turn it backwards to tighten it down and uh, you give it a little twist here and you don't want a lot of tension but you want you want the main rotor blade to be able to turn with it and maybe have a little bit of slip uh, how much slip it actually has is up to you um, I, I prefer it just to be just to where it's just slipping here a little tiny bit and uh that that's that you know this this flight is going to be a couple different things for me i'm just showing because there were some questions about that slipper clutch uh so i'm just showing that real quick and uh also travis mch from the rc groups forums has sent me this nice shiny turbo ace motor that had been failing for him i think i've repaired it uh, I didn't I was gonna rob the shaft from it to fix my broken shaft But I think I've repaired his motor and I'll probably send it back to him if he wants it back But I'm just happy to be able to fly right now. So I'm gonna give it a test flight and <clears throat> Hope it doesn't fail uh, Like he says it has on him in the past. So we'll see here. We go I hope the hat cam is on uh, well enough here. Apart from my personal visibility, this flight is going very well. It is kind of hard for me to see a little bit because it's not, not exactly bright out right now. I'm feeling a little bit of drag in the motor. Still pretty good though. There's a little bit of strain. That could be battery uh, internal capacitance or uh, yeah, it could just be that motor starting to fail. But so far it still feels good. Still got plenty of power. Maybe I'm just hearing it more because the last time I flew it was much windier and it's very still right now and quiet. And starting to rain just a little bit. I feel a couple drops just now. So I'm gonna bring it back and land. I'm not sure how long this flight actually was. Yeah, it's starting to pick up the rain now. 
So that was about three minutes. That's pretty good actually for uh, a flight with the Turbo Ace um, using the stock battery actually. I'm not even using the nice big ones. I'm using a stock D02S battery with the uh, Turbo Ace in here. Let me feel its temperature. Ooh, it's nice and warm, but it's not too bad. ESC and both, they're warm. They're not hot. They're warm. They're the ESC is a little bit hotter than the motor, uh, as usual. I'm not thinking the Turbo Ace motor is any warmer than it should be. Uh, I think I've licked his motor, so now I'm waiting to hear back from Wow Hobbies if they'll warranty or repair mine or send me a new shaft or something, I'm hoping. Um, the first email I sent apparently didn't go through because I, I remember not getting a confirmation. I just sent a new one, and in about two days I'm hoping to hear from them. So um, I'll get back with that information and let anybody know uh, what's going on uh, at that time. But so far, these Turbo Ace motors are, in my experience, the, the best motors, um, and you can get those over at Wow Hobbies.